Hi people, welcome to my episode 6 of this season 3 of my Let's Play. Uh, not right now I am going to make some decorative cuts into this uh, smooth stone. Well, I am going to make some uh, of them decorative cuts, the others are going to be more practicals. <laughs> yep. Okay, can't... Mm, no, stone panels... Slav corner... Nope. Can't do anything with that. <laughs> ah, there it is. Stone pillar. And they can be turned back and forth. These are all from LRAMS with Power 2 and you can see they are pretty looking. Yep, perfect. What's the difference between a, a pillar and slab? The slab uh, is placed to a side while the pillar is placed in the middle. Of course now that I uh, place these I should uh, normalize the options here mm, don't want anything spawning in there so let's make it like so and w there we go perfect I could expand this a little with some cobblestone or even some uh, oh they are Remembering the icons, gravel, but not the names. That's me. Anyway, uh, this is a decorative slab mostly, but I believe it looks good. Could be better, weren't these so low, but uh, that can't be helped. Well, I could lower the door to the floor, but that would be taking some major changes into the system. As for these stone cover strips, they are not really useful right now, but they will be in the future when I start working with uh, Red Power 2 cabling systems. Anyway, I should have been a little more... yeah, we are getting again all the different uh, achievements because I am now logged in into the net however there is a small problem I found because I ha I was playing the, the previous two or three episodes offline and that problem is essentially that uh, uh, that's the um, recording of the um, transmutation tablet uh, is tied to your username. Uh, that means if <laughs> that I just went inside the house, tried to turn some cobblestone into smooth stone and found I couldn't because it didn't knew how to. Anyway, that has already been solved. Don't worry about that. Uh, also, another thing I, that needs to be mentioned is that uh, you can't uh, transmutate uh, well use a transmutation tablet with uh, thumb craft items. I tried uh, a moment ago to see if it was possible to transmute some of the um, there we go. And there you go. Some of, uh, if I was able to teach the transmutation table some of these crystals, but I wasn't able to. So no, we cannot. Uh, if you're wondering about uh, crystal types, by the way, I was just looking at the wiki of uh, Thumbcraft because I intend to start working with them. By the way, we can do something again about this copper here which is turn it into regular copper this is a great uh, way to consolidate your your items 
as I was telling, yes, I am going to start uh, with some craft today. And as such, I am going to, well, I, I should uh, build this third story. I uh, know it's usually better in the underground than in the top, but I like to have good views. Ouchie. Or I could uh, try to make an underground, under, underneath uh, level, I don't know. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> what I do know is that uh, I am in a plains uh, biome and that favors the formation of vaporous uh, crystals. Also, I don't have the highest aura of all the possible biomes, that would be the jungle, but uh, I'm pretty happy with what I have. Anyway, we should start by making some some craft items and so then we can decide how to build stuff. We're going to need some furnaces, some smooth stone, some iron. Again, iron is a precious um, resource we're going to use a lot. And uh, we're going to need cre a glass. Let me get, in fact, more glass. And we're going to need also some... Mm, 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 yeah, let me get some tainted, some vapors and some crystal. We're going to need some great wood. Lock. By the way, I, I, silly of me. There are great wood saplings, so I might uh, have to do an off-camera travel to that groove where I found all these great wood logs and get a sapling and we're going to need some regular wooden planks yes I believe that's all we're going to need so I am going to get this table and I am going to move this project table and there I'm going to break this one too so let's place the project table in here should be the other way around, but oh well. And I can place this in here for now. And night's coming. Anyway, what am I going to do now is to grab some iron and make some of the less useful items in Minecraft. This is a vanilla Minecraft item, the cauldron. It will just uh, contain about, I don't know, one water source and allow you to, or, or two or three, I'm, I'm not sure, but it allows you to um, to have a source of water to play when you are using alchemy. As I said, not really useful when you can just make an infinite water source. Now we're going to place a furnace in here, and let me see if I can do it with a tainted crystal. Yeah! Crucible! <clears throat> this little item in here is uh, the start of a thumbcraft. We're going also to need some glass panels. And I am going to remember that I also need... Uh, there we go, redstone. And some wood on the sides. And there we go, bees conduits. Uh, I am going also to need some stone slabs. Let me see if I remember this uh, okay. This goes like so. And I am going to need something else I don't remember at all. Oh dear. Mm -mm -mm. Where are you? Tell me. Tell me where are you? Uh, I am looking for uh, one of the most needed recipes. There we go. Thomic infuser recipe. Oh, iron and crystal. And it's iron on the sides. And another crystal in the middle. A tainted crystal is okay for now. So with these items in here, and since it's nighttime, I can go sleep. 
we are going to start our Thumbcraft adventure. So I am going to make a, a basement, I believe, in the end. Mm. Yeah. I'm going to excavate in here and make it uh, a regular stairs instead of, I mean a staircase instead of these stairs there. So I will be back with you as soon as I finish this. Okay, and since I am a little too mindful of aesthetics right now, I am going to make uh, some stone bricks and I am going to turn them into stairs because they look better than regular uh, cobblestone stairs. You can see I already transformed this with the help of my uh, <coughs> yeah, perfect. With the help of my Philosopher's Stone and I also found some tin ore. Yay! So I am going to leave uh, this, this and the next uh, some sort of cushion for in case I want to make some sort of uh, pipe lining or tubing or down here and right now I need to grab myself some oh they are some of these to feed the machines because I don't think they just uh, run out of energy you know yeah ah perfect this one was just uh, finishing up with that Anyway, as I told you, I am going to dig around and I'll be back with you as soon as I have a decent uh, measurement of what am I going to do here. So this is the... Perfect. Okay. So this I am going to save. So this is the floor. This I can start... Uh, digging all around. Perfect. Okay, this is taking some sort of shape. You can see it's rather nice. I'm going to expand it a little, however, in this direction, I believe. Yes, you know, I already surpassed, uh, surpassed the, the length of the house, but I want to go there and get to the waist. And let me see... Yeah, like this would be okay. Let's like this. I am going to make a change, by the way, which is going to hard. I mean, I've been playing Minecraft now for so, uh, so many months, I can... I can, I, I can safely play in that difficulty. As you can see, I already upgraded my doors to to be of iron, which means uh, that new thing I heard about uh, zombies breaking wooden doors won't be happening to me, for now at least. Of course, as long as they can't dig, uh, then there won't be a real problem and once they start digging then we only need to upgrade our defenses by making some I don't know flying fortresses like uh, the ones I used to fancy in my first times playing Minecraft I mean if you can access to that uh, level only using these stairs if they can't use them then they are as good as an existent. And yes, I remember I was going to expand this. But not so long. Oh dear, resources. Lots of resources. This is good. <laughs> okay, let's uh, block this. Perfect. And let's charge the like this. Perfect. So I'll keep uh, mining around and trying to get uh, all I can from these resources 
I won't be overmining it, however, since uh, I will be saving that for when I work up there, which will be, I suppose. And if not, uh, well, not a great deal. Mm, there we go. So I'll be back with you as soon as I finish expanding all this. Okay, so I thought, well, I am sitting down there, why don't I try to craft something else? Let's craft and try to make uh, one of the other equivalent exchange goodies that requires, oh dear, a block of diamonds and lots of glowstone. With a glass on top and a block of diamonds. Was it the other way around? Oh no, dear. I require um, another staff. Well, if I hit C, I have a portable workbench in my Philosopher's Stone. And, yeah, perfect. Furnace. Why do we need a furnace right now? Because if we place it in there, we get an energy collector. Yay! And what, uh, what thing is this and what it does it does? Collects energy. To what purpose? Well, let's turn some redstone into something else. Mm, interesting enough, it's producing still... Oh, of course, it's counting. So, we're going to let the redstone to be upgraded to upper levels, and then we can use a transmutation tablet to turn whatever we get in back into redstone. That way we can achieve a production of uh, whatever we want with just time and some effort, I must say. And, oh, of course, I can't let uh, this be discovered unless I break the... Yep, there it is. So now Glowstone is known by the system. Uh, as I was telling you, we are going to use this as, uh, well, aside from safeguarding uh, our chances of uh, not running uh, out of uh, fuel, we are going to use it to um, passively com uh, transform items into higher forms of energy. It can do that on its own while we are down here mining because, you know, I think I want uh, to use glowstone or or even better. Let me see. How are these here crafted? Redstone surrounding glowstone. They look good, after all. So, while I keep min mining, I have uh, up there that system producing <coughs> energy, so to speak. Of course, it cost me 9 diamonds, and I now have only 3, but fortunately enough, I have uh, industrial craft, which means I can turn coal into diamonds. It's a lengthy process that also requires me <coughs> to sacrifice some, well, more time and some even of uh, either obsidian or uh, or brick or a brick block, but for now it's okay. And I look the size of the of the room right now. It's not too big, not too small. Can be easily expanded, and we have uh, all these beautiful resources around. I think I will only go one level more uh, deep and then I will normalize the walls and the sailing using, well, uh, mining their resources and using the, uh, the Philosopher's Stone. So I'll see you this time for real when I have finished here. Okay, just checking up here, we are up to gunpowder, I already taught that to the transmutation tablet, and look this, you can make uh, a bucket from tin, not only from iron, which is good. I'm going to grab myself some more water, because I just realized that uh, 
my small farm is just not enough to fulfill to fulfill my nutritional needs. Uh, I should either start. Uh, oh, they are little troublemaker. Haha. <laughs> I should either start um, to work with some cattle, or I can build a bigger farm. I prefer a bigger farm because, well, it's uh, it doesn't have a mind of its own. So I am going to place here uh, the. All this, and by the way, I already expanded this a little. Just one block, ex one extra block. You can see it uh, thanks to this. And the water is going to be in here. It's uh, rather simple. And I also remember, I remember, of course, don't worry, that I should be downstairs if... I was going to say finishing the, the room for Thumbcraft, but uh, I already finished that room. That's because, uh, that's why I decided to come here and start working into this. I'm just going to uh, till this area, and then I am going to... Um, plant some seeds and I think I will keep the lower yeah there, there it is perfect I think I will keep the lower um, uh, plantation as just a wax plantation anyway I should cover this somehow mm, I think I will be using glass now yeah what I am going to do is uh, to resist one block. So I am going to, for example, place uh, here this, and I'm going to get some glass, which we can see is easy to get. Like, like so. Perfect. And uh, so lots and lots of extra EMC under there. Oh, books, perfect. Can do. Mm. Mm. Well, can't leave with that. Okay, and uh, so let me place all of this in here. Grab the glass. Grab some more glass. Yes, I know this is a mess. Place the buckets in there, grab the... Oh, of course, I broke that tilling item. Hooray for me! So let me get some... Ah. Let me get some sticks. And I can craft a hoe. And I can start uh, working with the plantation upstairs. Of course, I'm going to need some seeds. And there we go. Seeds, more than enough. 64 should be okay to start. And yes, like my other uh, systems, I am going to let this to bad idea of my part. Oh, by the way, since the last patch, it is safe to work on top of the um, farmlands. I like to place the farmland however at my chest height because I'm used to but uh, if you don't want to you can well not do it you can uh, just make a regular farm on the on the grounds and the like okay there we go all set I am also going to place some torches outside both to well Oops, I almost felt uh, both to illuminate inside of the room and to keep this uh, little place outside well illuminated too. Since it would be bad if uh, moth were to spawn in here. Okay, 
So if you're wondering where am I going to keep building, I will, for this level, build over the glass. The next level I might expand or I might not. And you can see if you do this this way, it's rather quickly. And then it's just a matter of uh, leaving it uh, to wait to be. Okay, there we go, all set. Uh, and we don't even need to cover it or keep uh, building upstairs because right now nothing can reach there. There are no flying mobs since I don't have. Uh, most creatures installed. I had some trouble with it, sadly. I'd very much uh, like to have that mode installed, but oh well. Life's not uh, what we were promised, at least not always. Okay, there we go. Materials and the like. Let's go down downstairs and let's go do science! Oh, I, I mean magic. Yeah, magic. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to set up a crucible, which is essentially the thing that burns your items and turns them into magical goo, called um, bees. For those of you who are old role players, uh, you might remember that term from, again, the Ars Magica game, but uh, like uh, Quasitor, I mentioned before, I hope it wasn't uh, in a blank or or something. Okay, like so, yes, three is okay. I am going to place here, only temporarily, this Thomic Infuser. This, by the way, are vanilla textures. This is how the item looks by default. Rather nice. I really like it. So, now we need to drop some wood in here and uh, some crystals. I am going with tainted crystals and see if it works because they they can only be used for this kind of stuff. And uh, I need to throw some items in there so I suppose it's a little like um, like this. I need to throw high value items to get a uh, high return. Let's, let's burn some gold for example, you can see it's burning in there, slowly. And for some reason it's not going to anywhere. Hello? Oh dear. I suppose I can't really use tainted uh, crystals. Okay, let's try with the vaporous crystal. Yes, with a vaporous crystal it can work. And you can see I got five. Uh, usually, when you use uh, regular stone, you're going to get only one. I mean, sorry, only fi uh, four. But since I am using great wood, I am getting an extra one. I'm going to place here, hidden under the stairs, this uh, crafting table. And I am going to do, I suppose it was a little like this? Nope. Okay, time to ha help. Ah, of course, it's empty. <coughs> Gotta make two just in case. Uh, yeah. And I got a nice two uh, enchanted wood surplus. Great. So right now I'm going to break this. Oh look, I got a depleted crystal. These are nice in the future. Uh, there we go. You can see a lot of light uh, of li liquid fall here, followed by darkened liquid. That was the two different uh, ones you can find. So right now I'm going to place this. Yeah, three is good. In and uh, then this. Okay. Uh, essentially, I am leaving one spot in the middle because I am going to, in the future, place some yes, bees filters, which will take out the this thing and eject it to space. Oh, by the way, don't break up this uh, stuff. It will just uh, how can I what can I say? 
or drop it into the air. It's a good uh, way of turning of, uh, up in the aura or the taint, depending on what you do you want. But hey, glowstone, great. Uh, but it's not really a good idea because it tends to be bad for the biome. You can essentially terraform your biome into something else if uh, you are not careful. Okay, where are you, little pest? Oh, up there. Perfect. And you're small. Ha. And I'm level 9 without even trying. Okay, the thing has been cooked. Please cook me a little more. Yeah, I know, I should be thinking on moving that inside. Oh, great. I didn't got to see it. Thanks. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I know I said I was going to move all my plantation upstairs, but uh, until it is stable, so to speak, I won't be doing such a thing. Uh, of course. This is already full. Hmm. Okay, the fragments get out. And uh, I suppose that's... oh, thing. Yeah, that's all. I only need to plant these seeds and I can go down. Okay, uh, let me see. I have more gold. And since I don't really have much use for it right now, let's burn a little more if, it's, if we need to. So the next thing I am going to craft, uh, now that I have uh, some enchanted wood, is, I suppose, the... Okay, Crucible, Crucible, Ar Arcane Furnace. The Arcane Furnace is uh, an item that uh, NAI can't really look into it. So I'm, I, I am going to need to go into the wiki. Uh, where is it? Fortunately, I have it open. Okay, I need a regular furnace. Ah, of course, it can be used because you require this. Okay, I need a furnace. <coughs> I need some iron block. I'm going to get it. <coughs> uh, there we go. Nine, not eight. There we go. So just in case I am missing something in this recipe. Okay, block of iron. And what else it, was it? Yeah, just a crystal. I hope I got plenty with me. I suppose it was a beast crystal, but uh, I'll try with the other. So the block of iron and the tainted crystal. Not working. Bees. Not working either. Oh, fire. It requires a fire crystal. Shame on me. Anyway, I am going to wrap the episode in here just uh, when I finish crafting that. Ah, there it is. Fire crystal. I'm going to store those items downstairs also. No, I'm going to leave this in here. And if you're wondering why do I want to craft uh, that furnace, that's because it will reduce the amount of um, pollution I generate with uh, creating materials and the like. Arcane furnace, yay! Now, where should I place it? Uh, below a crucible. <laughs> okay, so uh, another thing we need to understand is that uh, we are going to need a lever. Why? Because the kind furnace will consume fuel even when not in operation and uh, I need a regular smooth stone. <coughs> or no, I don't. I completely forgot if I do need... Uh, no, I didn't. Well, uh, if uh, usually the arcane furnace will con will eat resources even if it's not uh, working. Okay, there we go. 
there we go. See, they mesh together rather nicely. <clears throat> and I'm going to place a lever in here. Yeah. Okay, now we place this in here so we can access the inside like so. And if we hit the lever, it will stop consuming fuel. Uh, it can also consume energy from here, so let's see. If we connect it, you can see it is burning. Now it's off, now, uh, now we turn it on, and if we throw... Oh, I, <laughs> it burns. <laughs> it also burns. Ouchie. Anyway, uh, I am going to let it on and see if uh, without any kind of system. No, I suppose it won't. Will it? Will it? Well, it was worth a try. I suppose I set up some sort of uh, feeding system automatically. Anyway, we now have a steady supply of uh, bees. I, we have a steady supply of uh, materials upstairs. We have a steady supply of um, food and we are playing on hard. So that's the game right now. The, the, these are the rules. Haha. <laughs> I should start uh, researching immediately anyway. For now I will be turning this down. So this has been episode 6. I hope you liked it. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.